it, but they're not going on air. They're going to actually ask us some very um, hard hitting questions. So good luck to me on answering them. <laughs> Spotify doesn't is that they don't have that human factor. They All you hear is yeah, Spotify. exactly. And uh, people, I'd like to think that here on radio, regardless of whether it's AM or FM, AM gives you the news. Right? So uh, I think announcers give their opinions on news. So that's something you don't get um, off the internet, lang, basta basta. unless you listen to podcasts. That's a totally different story. And then on FM, we try to keep things light. Right? So we talk about entertainment and like when I was listening, I still listen to the radio actually. When I'm in my car. I heard someone say like a Hollywood couple got divorced. So that's something you don't, you wouldn't know about if you didn't listen to the radio or unless you really searched for it. So I don't think radio is a dying medium. I think it's still a very useful medium and I hope that it doesn't die. <laughs> so third question, uh, what do you think will be the role of medium radio 10 years from now? Okay, <laughs> I did just mention that it's a dying medium. Oh no, no. But um, ten years from now, I see radio will transition to digital. Uh, sort of like how podcasts work. If you guys listen to podcasts, it's people talking then, diba? But sometimes podcasts are more um, niche in a sense that it caters to a certain topic or genre. So there are comedy podcasts, there are podcasts about sports, diba? Sometimes specific pa, wrestling, basketball, and yeah. So maybe eventually it'll become internet radio. Uh, people might listen to the radio on their phones pa din. So 10 years from now, maybe. Hopefully it doesn't die 100%. <laughs> but yes, uh, I hope that radio sticks around. Maybe more, more digital, more on the internet. But it'll it's something that'll stick, I think. Okay, so final question. Do you have any final words or advice for us to like work? <clears throat> Are you guys very interested? Your group? Yes! Yeah, no, we'd love it. Actually, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna ask you guys if you want to audition. We actually have like our student jocks here, right? That's how they, they start. You know, even me. That's how I started. I auditioned and I tried out. As for advice, if you really, really want to do it, pursue it, right? Like that, that's what I did. I think I started as a student jock, and if I didn't keep doing what I did, you have to train. Sometimes what we do, we do it for free, we don't get paid for it, but because you want to, you will do it, right? That was uh, always improve your craft. Like, if you feel like you need to practice your pronunciation. I always give advice on try reading out loud in front of a mirror, watch uh, English movies or shows, and yeah. So practice, tapos uh, perseverance. That's my advice. So that's it. Thank you, Miss Ali. You're welcome. <laughs> We are here with Sir Dalo. 
Um, uh, we will be interviewing him about Rachel. So we will now begin. Our first question is, how does Rachel help in shaping today's society? Hello everyone, I am Carl Dendalem Galug, the editor-in-chief of our official um, FEU Senior High School publication. Now, um, with regards to your question, uh, Mister, I think um, the greatest role of radio nowadays in shaping today's society is disseminating information. Remember, we have a lot of theories of communication, and one of that is the proper dissemination of intellectual facts. Now, in shaping today's society, the people itself is the society, right? And therefore, if the people is not educated by means of education itself, how can we form a good uh, society? Now, the society is formed by people, okay? And people should be educated, but by what means? And, what, and one of the, that um, means is radio. Remember, ra radio is one of the primordial way of disseminating facts that until now we are, we are still using. So I think um, the greatest role of radio is by uh, educating us through the words, through the sounds. To the um, our next question is, what do you think will be the role of radio 10 years from now? Um, I think after a decade, um, radio would be um, almost already outdated. And in and, uh, internet will uh, overwhelm all of the primordial ways of media for disseminating information. And remember, we are now living in a modernized world. And I think um, radio has already uh, been a large help to humanity. I think radio would be outdated a decade from now because of modernization of the world. So, uh, do you have any final words or um, My advice to all of our uh, students is use media mindfully. That's it. Only this and nothing else. Thank you for being here. Hi everyone, we are here with Miss Pai Mayong for an interview. So, we have you see. Um, our first question is, how does radio help in shaping society? Um, for me, I think radio helps in shaping society mostly in the urban places. Uh, places that doesn't have access to TV or uh, um, internet because they need to be uh, alert of the news and they need to be aware of what is happening globally and either locally or just internationally. Everything, <laughs> so, so that that is a way for them to be, uh, to know and to be updated about things when they don't have access to uh, other forms of media. So our next question is, what do you think will be the role of radio in the Um, for me, actually, since radio is one of the oldest forms of media, I think it would slowly deteri deteriorate actually because as we evolve, technology evolves with us. And so I think uh, special people would find ways to innovate it and hopefully that it would still remain a source of information for others. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Hi everyone, we are here with Ms. Lim uh, for an interview. So we shall proceed. How does radio help in shaping today's society? Radio is one of the leading mass media medium in the country. Um, forms um, shapes the society by sending information, especially news and entertainment programs to the to the majority. For instance, in AM, um, they send news um, wherever wherever the um, the listeners are, especially because they're frequent, they're um, they are amplified. So therefore, even if we go straight to the tunnel, the signal will not go out. Therefore, there will be still information transmitting to um, the area where you are. And then, of course, there's also the FM, which um, uh, inclined in making entertainment programs such as music programs, then um, DJ-oriented DJ programs, which helps to entertain and give spices, I guess, um, to the listeners. Next question is, what do you think will be the role of radio 10 years ago? Concerning the use of radio, let's say 10 years from now, there could be a chance that it will be degraded, especially with the innovation of social media, no, not just social media, but the um, online media itself as a whole, just like YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, and etc. But 
I still think that radio itself will still be useful, especially to, in to transmitting, transmitting information, especially to the, um, what they call this, to the military. Because um, remember from the Cold War, um, internet was used for um, sending information through a military to a military base, and then um, the police uses um, radio waves to um, connect to the other people to transmit information. That still, I, I guess, will be the use of radio. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am here with this chief of So, the first question is, how does radio help in shaping society? Well, maybe we hope to improve the secret place, like when you're far away, when you're far away, or the far away, and you basically be updated on this. Next question is, what do you think will be the role of radio television? I think radio will still be the same because of the high popularity of social media.